hey everyone welcome back to my youtube channel on today's video we are going to be talking about the new changes to tailwind dashboard so if you currently use tailwind dashboard you probably notice that every single time that you pin you um or schedule a pin using tailwind you are required to include pin titles so this is something new that they're they're doing and if you want to learn why these changes have been made and why you need to start using it as soon as possible, make sure that you watch all the way to the end. Now, if this is your first time visiting my YouTube channel and you want to grow an impactful online business, don't forget to subscribe today. Don't forget to show me some love by liking this video and leaving a comment below. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now, before I talk about the title pins, I do want to talk about why you need to be using Pinterest for your business. Now, this is a snapshot of my Pinterest account, and this is what I normally get in the duration of 30 days. Um, my pins get about 1.46 million impressions. I have a large audience, um, 815,000 people. My engagement is pretty good and my audience engagement is pretty good. Um, now, keep in mind, I do promote, not only do I promote my blog, I do promote my YouTube channel, affiliate marketing, and Etsy stores and other platforms that I sell as well. Um, Pinterest is a great platform, especially for people that are in the e-commerce like Etsy, Shopify, Amazon, um, and affiliate marketing. It is remarkable. I highly recommend that you start using it to promote. If you don't know how to use Pinterest the correct way, or you want to learn how to do so, I actually have a Pinterest course that I created. I will leave the link below. I highly suggest for, for you to sign up for that. Also, I'm gonna leave a link below if you wanna try, if you wanna try Tailwind for free for an entire month. So you don't have to pay anything. And if you end up signing up for it, which I hope you do because it's a remarkable tool, you actually get $15 credit and I get $15 credit by using my link. So I will leave it in the comment section as well. Keep in mind, Tailwind is an approved um, tool by actually Pinterest. So you don't have to be worried about using it and getting your account suspended or in trouble. So just keep that as well in mind. So let's go ahead and dive in and talk about these new changes. Now, what is a pin title, right? So pin titles are bold headlines that show up under your pin image, either in the feed or on top of the description when you click on a pin. So the left image, you'll see it on the bottom. It says what to sell on Etsy. Your, the right image, you will see it when you click on the pin, it will show up on the top of the description. And as you can see, mines are set for SEO. I have Etsy tips and I have what to sell on Etsy because I'm trying to rank for the word Etsy and I wanna be able to show my products and services for Etsy sellers. So that's something really important to keep in mind when you're writing a pin title. Now, when you usually write the pin through Pinterest and you create a pin and upload it on Pinterest, it requires for you to add a pin title. However, when you use the automated system Tailwind, Normally, it does not require a title, but now it really does. And the reason why they made the change is because they realized that the title is really, really important when it comes for SEO purposes. So these are the reasons why you need to start adding pin titles to every pin that you promote using Tailwind. So it's going to help improve distribution of your pins. To, so make sure that you add keyword rich, which is what I just showed you on my own pins. You want to make sure that you add keyword rich not only on the title but also on your actual list on your actual description of that particular pin. This is going to help Pinterest or the algorithm, right? Get more contents about what your pin is about and show it to the right people. And this is also going to help pinners like people that are searching for your products or services, it's going to help them scan when they're looking at the feed and determine if they want to go ahead and click on your actual pin based on your title. So just keep that in mind. It's really important for different reasons. It's important for the algorithm, but it's also important for the 
buyer experience when they're clicking to visit your site or to visit your Etsy store and to learn more about your products and services. Now, these are some pin title best practices. So you want to make sure that you add the keywords to your title for best SEO best practices. So Pinterest uses the words in your title to determine when it's going to appear in the search results. So if you type in, let's say your pin title is Etsy tips and somebody searches for Etsy tips, then Pinterest is going to take notice that you have that in your title and it's going to go ahead and put it in the search feed for that particular pinner. So just keep that in mind. Also, don't repeat the description text. So don't copy what you have on your description text and just put it in your title because you're too lazy to write an actual title. Use the title to focus on the content of the pin while using the description to give more contents and detail of what to expect after they click. So just keep them separate, um, but make sure that you take the time to fill out the title. Now, another thing is when you do the title, you wanna make sure that you're writing a compelling and engaging headline. This is going to really help you with your, it's going to help you increase your click-through rate. The more engaging the, the title is, the more people will click to learn more about whatever you're selling or whatever information you're giving away. Now, make sure also that you keep the main keyword or keywords in the beginning of your title. This is an SEO best practice because the first 30 to 100 characters is what's going to show up in the feed. Everything after that, it, it gets truncated. It, it almost hides. So if it gets truncated in the search results, people are not going to be able to read and learn what your pin is about. So make sure that you put the main keywords and focus in the beginning. That way it doesn't get truncated at the end of your title. But this is the, the, the gist of it, basically. It's not going to take you too long to do. It's a very simple process to do. But it's something that is going to generate and help you increase your click through rate. And that's why it's important to add these pin titles. I'm surprised that Tailwind didn't do this sooner because Pinterest already does it automatically or makes you do it automatically. So I'm surprised that now Tailwind has decided, but I'm glad that they made the changes because this is not only going to help you get more sales, it's going to help you get more you know, brand awareness is going to help you grow and you should see a significant increase, especially when you start adding these pin titles that beforehand you weren't adding when you were scheduling through Tailwind. So I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions about Pinterest or any requested videos that you would like me to create, make sure that you leave a comment below. Um, and don't forget again to like this video.